Chapter 4 The answer to all of humanity's problems is love. Love is the most precious thing in this physical realm. So we must protect love, be it the love between a couple, between parents and children, between friends, love between humans or love between animals, love between humans and animals or between animals and humans, be it even the love between plants and trees. They do communicate. They do love and protect each other, as scientists have proven. You read about them, you know. Real love is what we need to protect our world, especially now. Whatever we love will blossom. Whatever loves us makes us grow in happiness. But love is not just a vocabulary. Love is action, invisible and visible. Love can flourish or be destroyed even, though the essence of love can never be destroyed. There are deeds that can nourish love. There are deeds that can make love wither and die. I mean physical love. I mean the love in this realm. There are deeds that can make love grow. There are deeds that can make love diminish. We must cherish, treasure love if we find it. Support it. We have to support it with our thoughts and speech and actions. We can be and should be the example of love, like giving, caring, and harmonizing. So that when others think of us, remember our names. They would feel happiness, love, comfort, and even noble. And their good quality will shine forth. We should not be the source of burden or misery to others. In their thoughts, deeds, and speech. We have to be the source of inspiration, of nobility and love. Especially if we have been shown how, by others' example. If we have love, all good will come our way. We can start to love now, today, and continue tomorrow into the future. Love yourself, love your family, love your neighbors, love all around us. Without love in our heart, we are almost nothing. Just a burden to ourselves, to loved ones, and society. Love is not a word on our lips. Love must be our feeling inside, and action translated outside. Love the animals, we'll be vegan. Love the earth, we'll go green. Love the world, save the planet. If we consider ourselves higher beings, then we should carry out higher noble acts, protect the weak and the innocent, and not abuse our power by harming our friends, especially since they do us no harm. We should listen to the great wise religious leaders of the past and present, and regard our animal friends as sacred, cherished creations of God, and as a very basic gesture of dignity, respect, and kindness we should be vegan. When we love and respect the animals, we will develop our own spirituality. When we are able to expand this love to all other beings of the universe, including the animals who are our co-inhabitants, we ourselves expand and become greater spiritually. A peaceful relationship with the animals, with no more killing, would attract to us an abundance of divine blessings. And with the whole world extending such compassion to animals our planet's atmosphere, of course, would stabilize and even change to a more heavenly like, permeated with feelings of peace and love. If we are in the organic vegan trend or planting organic vegan farming method, then you will feel more and more the love from nature the love from the planet Earth, the love from the trees, the love from even a blade of grass, from flowers. We will feel so much love in the air that we breathe. We feel so much love from the Earth that we walk on. This we cannot even explain in human language. We must feel it. I always feel it, 
but I can't transmit this spiritual message to other people. Everyone must experience it for himself. Once we turn to a compassionate, heaven-intended lifestyle of a vegan diet, then we will feel more and more love, more and more connected all the time. First, be vegan, okay? If we can't find the organic vegetables or fruits, then please be vegan first, because this positive, loving energy will envelop our planet, will be a protective shield for us, there's nothing else. No other green power can protect us in this crucial moment of danger. Please believe me. I have nothing to gain from telling you this, but I tell you because I'm one of you. Because my love doesn't know any boundary between me. Myself, my family, or my country people, or the people of Korea. Or any other nationalities in the world. I love all people. I love all the beings on this planet, and I want to save you all. I want to save them all. Please wake up and wake everybody else up before our house is burned down. Together we will win. Together we will save this planet. Not to save the planet for the sake of material existence, but because we save ourselves. We save our great self, which is compassionate, which is loving, which is merciful, which is godlike. All the scriptures of the religions tell us this, that we are the Buddha, that we can become Buddha as soon as we want, that we are the children of God. So we have to save our status as the greatest beings in the universe, the crown of the creation. We must save our great quality, not just the planet, but ourselves, our heart, our nobility, our leadership on this beautiful spaceship we call planet Earth. We are the captains. We must lead the planet into safety and save our soul, save the best qualities that we have within us. Together, we can maintain not only the beautiful Jeju and all the South Korea as a wonderful paradise, but we will also save the whole world. You will all become heroes. You will all be my heroes. Please be veg, go green. Love can change the world. Thank you. A message from the animals. They, the animals, wish the human race can see what they see, know what they know and stop all this madness centering around temporary time on Earth, and focus more on life eternal. They wish the Earth be saved. But it's not about saving the planet, but about the human returning to a virtuous life and compassionate heart. And all things will be all right. They know that. Then the Earth will be saved if people are compassionate as a byproduct. If we live according to the law of love, all things will be all right. The animals know that. And they would really wish humans understand this concept. The only concept that matters, the concept of love. Because after we practice for some time, we will feel the one, at oneness of all things, of ten thousands things in the universe, the oneness between you and me of yourself and myself, that we are from the same source. We are of wisdom, of love and of oneness. Therefore, he cannot just pick out one person or one being in the universe and say, I love that person. Right? If this is the hole from the forehead to the toe is your body, we will pick one particular and take care of that toe or thumb. This is my beloved. Can we do that? No. It would be ridiculous. We might say, we might say, oh, my lips is beautiful, yeah. I am proud of my hair, or I love my thumb, maybe. But we equally love other parts of the body. Because without each part of our body, we cannot live. 
we will not be able to exist happily. If we cut, cut them or damage one, one part of our body. We will get hurt. We will feel very, very hurt. If we are still in sensitive feeling, only those who are numb or probably have trouble do not feel when they touch fire or damage part of their body. The ordinary sensitive human beings feel any trouble in each part of their body. Therefore, the sage is the very ordinary human being, is a true great human being, because he feels for all things. That's why we do not harm other sentient beings. That's why we become vegan to nourish ourselves, nourish our love for all beings. Because they are all one with us. If we want to ever attain the wholeness of our real self, then we should take care of all beings, because they each one are part of ourselves. That's the reason. Not because the precepts say so, it's because of our sensitive feeling. The more we practice oneness with the heaven and earth, the more we become sensitive to the feeling of every sentient being in the universe, and we automatically try to preserve them. Of course, in some cases, when it absolutely cannot avoid, then we might choose the less, the least troublesome, the least harming like we eat vegan. We would rather not eat, but we just have to. A vegan diet is nonviolence in the highest sense, and a vegan diet is love in action. Don't you think? Yes, if you love animals, why eat them? Yes, everybody says we love animals, but how? And a vegan diet will stop 80% of global warming, stop all the cruelty beginning on our plate, generating loving, kind energy around the world. Stop water shortage and water pollution. Stop food shortages. Stop world hunger and war. Prevent deadly diseases. Save enormous tax and medical bills to build a better world. And support new useful inventions and good people's organizations. The list goes on and on. We all want to have a peaceful world. And we all talk about how we want peace and love. Well, I think we should start it now and let peace begin on our plates. Let love begin with our choice. All the benefits of vegan diet cannot be overstated. And now there is spiritual aspect also. When a person par takes in direct or indirect killing of any sentient beings, be it human or animals, he or she enters the cycle of reaving and violence. And it will only end when one stops doing it. Hence, we have to love our enemy. Because only love and forgiveness will have the power to break the negative effect of hatred and vengeance. But all masters and enlightened saints in the past have already talked about it. I wish the world vegan world peace. That's all I wish. Every day I keep repeating that to heavens. Make sure they hear me. To help us. Because without world vegan, there will not be lasting world peace. That's why I ask people to pray and meditate only for world vegan. And world peace also comes along. The more world vegan now, the more world peace. But it should be more lasting. Well, it's much better now. But still, it's not as ideal as I want it. People are more vegan now. They have more time now during COVID-19. They will sit together or they sit alone. With their family, close family, or alone and with one or two. And they have more time to reflect. And we see the vegan trend is getting more prominent now. I wish it will affect the whole world. And then soon we will have no more suffering animals on our planet. Or suffering people from war and famine and all that. 
I would advise all the leaders to save all the money unnecessary for war, for other things that are frivolous spending. Keep their money and just give money to the poor. Give them something to start their lives with business, with education, or with farming, with changing their lives about from meat business to organic vegan business. It's very easy. And then they would take care of themselves. And the more people are vegan, the less government leaders should worry, because they will not be so violent if they have enough work for them to do. To earn their money, to take care of themselves, they would never make any trouble for governments. There will be less suffering. Then also less sickness and less criminals in the world. Then it's good for everybody. That's what I wish. World vegan. World peace. In the name of God. In God's mercy. May it come soon. Amen.